Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Heather Elizabeth, welcome. Today we are going to be talking my collection agenda for 2023. And I am picking 10 things that I'm going to be looking for, keeping an eye out, expanding my collection uh, for the upcoming year. And this has been inspired by a blog that I saw it was a Martha Stewart feature on favorite things to collect in 2022. And I will uh, put the link to the list that they had. So there were two items on the Martha Stewart list from last year that did interest me and I did start collecting. And the first one I took interest in was the berry spoons. Berry spoons are very decorative in the scoop area. They have a lot of pictorial images of berries. I also expanded my personal collection to include larger decorative spoons so that I could create a spoon bouquet is how I like to look at it. So from my collection, I found one berry spoon this past year. And then I also found this decorative spoon, whether it's specifically for berries or maybe some sort of a dessert is what I'm thinking. But uh, I loved the decoration on the sides and with the scallop, I thought it had enough interest that it would look um, good with the berry design. And then this piece has some decoration up here in the scoop area. So you can see the idea of the berry spoons, uh, it's its really cute if you like decorating with silver or silver plate. So uh, that's why this particular collection started. I hadn't thought of berry spoons before I saw the Martha Stewart blog. So it did kickstart me into a new collection. And number two on the Martha Stewart list that I was interested in was the antique scissors. I am definitely interested in finding some of these beautiful scissors that I found on Pinterest here. The Nouveau with the ladies on the handle. Those are stunning. And the ones with the unicorns, just, just beautiful. The picture in the middle was from Martha Stewart and uh, I love those as well. So what did I find <laughs> so far to kickstart my collection? This is the best pair that I found. I hope you can see the engraving on the handle. So I did find these and then I do also have these with a fun hammered texture, but that's all I found. So for 2023, I definitely want to keep looking and keeping an eye out for antique scissors. These aren't something that um, are gonna be easy for me to find. Now, granted, I can always go on Etsy uh, <laughs> and online, eBay, and pick these sorts of things up. But for me, I really like to find my collection items out in the wild. It's more exciting for me, definitely more challenging. Um, would I love to find one of those fancy unicorn <laughs> scissors out in the wild? Sure. Most of these collections, I like to keep a uh, budget in mind. So I am, I'm not gonna you know, be spending hundreds of dollars just to have a particular pair of scissors. It's for me, it's more about going out to the thrift stores, to the antique stores, to the flea markets. That's where I wanna find these items. All right, so now we're going to get into my 10 items that I am putting on my collections for 2023 list. Now these aren't in any particular uh, order as far as like priority. The first one I have in my list is French beaded flowers. In my pictures here, I have found a bouquet. One of the funerary type wreaths here on the right is beautiful. And just some of the little stems. I, I love the stems. I do have these stems I picked up this past year. Um, my first visit to Watson and Company, actually, if you watch that video, uh, you will have seen that I had picked up uh, this bouquet and this little stem in the back is uh, a floral that I had picked up either at a thrift store or an estate sale, one of the two. 
So this little bouquet is perfect the way it is, but would I like to put more beautiful uh, vintage or antique beaded flowers? The French beading work is so beautiful. Would I like to put them in my home? Of course I would. So that is on the list. I would love to find more French beaded flowers. Okay, next on my list is doll furniture. And this isn't just like dollhouse furniture. This is 18 inch doll furniture. So larger pieces. In the photo on the right is a piece that I just picked up. It is so, so cute, the chest of drawers. The one on the left, the wardrobe, I think it's listed for a little over $200. So not something I will be uh, biting at quickly, but gosh, that wardrobe sure is beautiful. Now, why did I pick up this little chest of drawers other than it being cute? I loved how I could display my miniature items, dishes and the little teapot, really fun as little display stands. So that's one of my new <laughs> fascinations. Uh, and this, I think I picked up for maybe $5. So that's what I'm talking about. Furniture. <laughs> I do like the dollhouse furniture too. Don't get me wrong. Okay, next on my collection list is shoe clips. I'm looking for antique shoe clips with a lot of beautiful decoration or steel cut work. And I only have two pairs so far in my collection. That is one of the main reasons that it is definitely on my top 10 for 2023. The pieces that I have collected, I love them so much. And those both were sourced at estate sales for very reasonable prices. So that's just something, again, that I'm gonna keep an eye out and uh, hopefully pick up another pair or two this year for 2023. So next on the list is no surprise to you or me. It is the porcelain half dolls, sometimes call them the pincushion dolls because a lot of them were used to make pincushions. I have quite a few of these, but I am not quite done collecting. I know that if I see one, I'm going to want to pick it up. I love how these ladies usually are just really feeling like they're in the mood, <laughs> touching their shoulders or their chest, like this little lady. This is one of my bigger ones. Uh, they come in lots of sizes. I brought these two because these look like pretty much the same sculpt, only one's a lot bigger than the other one. So uh, pretty adorable, the small ones and the big ones. I love them all. And I have a feeling that these are going to start, not that there aren't a lot of us who already collect them, but I just, part of me has that feeling that these specifically are going to be um, more and more collected and might be harder to find in the years to come. So for 2023, I am going to continue my half doll collection because before I know it, I'm not going to be able to find any. <laughs> All right, this next item for 2023, I have bird claw tongs and I have a smaller pair, which I believe are sugar cube tongs and then a larger uh, size, which I think is more of an olive tong. I also saw some beautiful lion paw feet and I do not have any of those in my collection. I would love to include lion paw feet tongs with my adorable little bird claw tongs. This larger pair that I think are uh, for olives, this I got for $12 at an estate sale. And this smaller pair, uh, so cute at, for sugar tongs, those I got for $2. So again, when it comes to collecting, I like to look online for inspiration, but I really like to source in the wild for budget <laughs> because this lovely little collection uh, total was under $15. And these are both sterling. Uh, not that I need uh, them to be sterling, but they happen to both be sterling. You might say to yourself, Heather, are you ever going to use these at your dinner table? And the answer, quite frankly, is no. But 
I would use these to look through one of my button collections. That would be easy to pick up with teeny tiny claw tongs. Some people in listings call these chicken feet, um, which I think is awesome too, but I just call them bird claw or talon tongs. Um, I, I love just the fantasy of it, you know. If you like a hippogriff or a griffin, well, the griffin would be lion paw feet. So come on, who doesn't want some claw tongs? <laughs> All right, that's enough of the tongs. The next category I am looking for in 2023 are something kind of interesting. I came across one this year. I didn't know what it was. I had to search to figure out that it was a laundry pin. In this slide at the, at the bottom, there is a tin and those two little laundry pins, those are mine. Uh, those are all I have so far for my blossoming collection. But the other two photos from Shabby She She on Instagram, now that I have two, I wouldn't mind having a little collection, maybe between, you know, five to 10 in a, in a little cup would be fun. But right now they are sitting in a little rotary, whoop, little rotary box. The brass one doesn't have numbers on it. And the, the first one I found had these numbers on them. And that's, that's part of what I like about it. It has that industrial uh, appeal. And then when I saw this big one, I knew immediately I said, Oh, that's a bigger version of the laundry pin. So I did get it so I could start a collection only I do wish it had the engraved uh, set of numbers on it. This is a definitely fledgling collection and one that for 2023, I will continue to try to keep an eye out. Next up, we have metal game pieces. And these are very, very small, these ones that I have in my collection. Um, you can see in this photo, they are in a vintage eyeglass case. I have some that are vintage, some that are fairly newer. Uh, the fairy and the mermaid are actually pieces from a Disney game called Disney Seen It. They have a wonderful pewter finish. I'm not sure what metal they're actually made of, but they are wonderful. They don't particularly look Disney. I just happen to know that they are. So I like to use these little game pieces and put them in my treasure boxes, which for me, a treasure box is just a box full of my bits and bobs that you find charming and you just put them all together in a collection and just rifle through them for fun, really. I think that the little Disney game pieces are a fun thing to look out for because they don't necessarily look like Disney. The mermaid Ariel, I mean, obviously, if you had someone who was into mermaids and you wanted to give them a fun little trinket box, for example, like this one, then how cute to gift it with a little teeny tiny mermaid game piece inside. So that's why uh, I like to look for items like this. They're, they're just fun to have on hand. And the little mouse is actually a button. I, I will admit that's not actually a game piece. It is a um, adorable little button with an articulated tail, um, but it is that same teeny tiny size. So fun, quaint, uh, little character type pieces. Very easy to tuck them away and then use them in fun either gifts or your own personal displays for those little teeny tiny areas. <laughs> okay, the next one is also in that small, miniature category where they could go in a uh, larger treasure box. And these are book lockets. I only have two of them. So I would love to find some more. Now the larger one is actually produced by Avon. It's quite lovely. The smaller one is actually antique. It is stamped. Um, it is gold. I can't remember if it was stamped 14 karat or 10 karat with mother of pearl. So here I have two examples of wonderful book lockets, definitely from different eras, but they're very, very cute together. And not only can I put them in smaller display area, but I can also wear them. I mean, they're meant to be a, a locket, a necklace to wear around the neck. So I do 
find these really beautiful and I would love to come across some more. I definitely wouldn't mind having some more book lockets in my collection. So I will be keeping my eyes peeled this coming year for those. Next on the list, I have little brass bells. Now the photos in this slide are my current collection. They are made in India. Um, they have some nice little etching designs in them and they're not too hard to source. So I have started a collection um, as I have been able to come across them. The reason I am going to be looking for these is that I have a project in mind where I would like to create a garland. Like I want a long garland, which means I need quite a few of these bells. So even though in that plate, the collection looks <laughs> well-rounded, uh, it's, it's more of a project idea. So I'm going to keep collecting. I'm going to keep stashing them away until I have enough. I just think that the aged brass on these pieces would be so pretty for decorating from Halloween through into Christmas. So those, those have been a long, a long-term project. I don't know when I'm going to get enough for a garland. It may be another three, four years before I have enough to make a six foot, maybe I need a seven foot garland. I'm not even sure, but I need more. <laughs> and lastly, on the list of items I will be searching for in the next year will be antique cabinet cards, specifically of Victorian morning fashions. I only have one of these that I have found that I really appreciate and think is quite beautiful. Not only are there two women, so I have two examples, but the pose is beautiful, the scenery is lovely, and the quality of the photograph is still really, really nice. So there isn't a lot of fading. I would love to discover more photos like this um, this year. I would, even if it's just one, I think it's going to be hard to find. This might be something that I do decide to search online for and uh, pick up here or there to expand my collection. But I do enjoy my collections more when I have found them on the hunt. <laughs> All right, so that concludes my collection agenda for 2023. Now, are these the only things I'm going to be looking for? Of course not. If you like this video, then I'm sure I could come up with 10 more things <laughs> that I would like to uh, collect in the upcoming year. I just thought that these particular items might be something that would surprise you, except for the half dolls. <laughs> I know that doesn't surprise y'all, but I don't think you knew that I was collecting some of these items. So I thought I would share some things that I haven't shared with you yet. And I definitely think I could come up with 10 more. So if you like this video, let me know. I'm sure I could do a round two uh, of my collections for 2023. Why don't you all let me know what you're collecting or what you would like to start collecting for 2023. I want to hear from all of you out there. I thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Until I see you again, take care of yourselves. Happy New Year and bye for now. snow in a few hours so we are going to do a fun video at home although I don't know how you can take me seriously with my bangs go wet this down okay guys we're just doing it we're gonna film this video and we're gonna be talking collections <laughs> we're gonna be talking hello everyone ha! and I love how these ladies usually are just really 
uh, feeling like they're in the mood. They're usually like <laughs> touching their shoulders or their chest. <laughs> 